for my next trick will be I will be highlighting her bonnet here. For that, the original color we used for the bonnet is this brilliant blue. I put two drops here, one drop there, and then using true blue, it's not focused, but there's true blue. And true blue is going to be our pure highlight color. So let's just mix this up really quick. There we go. So you can see we've got that nice pattern. I'm going to move this up out of the way so I don't have to. It's still in my way. I should clean my desk. Okay. So, if you remember from the previous video or from my How I Do It video, my first step here is to just paint. I'm just sitting here looking and it looks like it's almost got a highlight already, but I have no idea how I did that. <laughs> I maybe have painted the wrong color on there. So I'm just gonna, you know, for sure we've got the top of the bonnet. And I'm thinking about that far across. And then we're gonna go about that far down on either side. Paint the same thing here, but I'm going to make this one a bit more round because it's on top of her head, which is round. And just looking at from the back, I actually want to extend that a little bit further. So I'm going to go all the way to there. So it means I need to make that a little bit bigger. Okay. Now, per my little technique, I should wait for this to dry. But, technically don't have to. So I'm going to dip into the second color or the one up from uh, where we were. And this is... Actually, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to the one that's the closest to the base color. And that's... I accidentally dipped it into the base. I don't know why I put on the base color to begin with, because I'm not going to do it. And so now... I'm just going to go through and try erasing lines I made with that one color. And of course this doesn't look that great because it is a very big contrast between the base color and the highlight color, but we're okay with that. Actually, yeah, I do want to get a little bit further up on there. I try not to hit her ear in here. And it's really dry right now, so all that highlight base colors are already colored up and considering how I got that side color all mixed up I think I'll go ahead and just color it a little bit too because I don't want that line there and honestly I think I decided to switch colors in between so that base color may not be the actual base color I intended. That's okay. I'm just going to go through 
and I think I'll do it over again. Get a little bit more paint on here. Yeah, that, one thing I hate is just I don't use up all the color that's on the palette, but yeah, that's nothing I can do about that. Well, okay, there may be some things I can do about it, but I'm not going to worry about it. Wow, really? That looks so strange. Oh, I know why. Right there on top of her head. Let me get close to focus on it. Is that little piece right there is all highlight color. And that's probably accidental. So I guess it's good that I've got my base color on there because I want to color that back towards the, the original base that we put on there. Okay, that's good. So now I'm going to the blend of that one that was closest to the highlight color. And I'm going to go back in and erase the line that was in between the ones we just did. That's probably how I got that highlight painted in on the front too. I may have done it already again. But let's just keep going. A little bit too much there, but oh well. So I'll just try to even it out here. Okay. And so now, I think what I'm going to do is I want to go maybe one more high. So, you know, I don't like mixing with the brush, but no choice. Just kind of scooping a little bit more of our light color in there until it's the shade I want in between these two. And I'm just going to go in and make one more little eraser. Eraser. Now, of course, I'm not doing this nearly as many sections as could be done but it's just a little mouse thing so and so I think I'm done with it I might I might do the same thing on that dark because I want it I've got a bit of a line right there so, same way, and take the first mix I've done, and take some more of the base color, mix that in, wipe it off. I don't need that much on the palette. And so now I'm going to work on that line right there. Lift it up, see if it'll focus. So towards camera, maybe good enough. That looks really dark to me. Hmm. I wonder if I did screw up. Yeah, it seems to be drying right. You know, if we don't like it too. I do have the base color and I can just finish painting all the way on the base color, which I think I will do now. 
because I may have picked <laughs> the wrong blue. I write all my colors down on a little piece of paper like this. Maybe I just didn't do it right this time. Well, now I think it dried correctly, so... I guess that's just the difference between the dried color and the regular color, or highlight color. What am I trying to say? Wet color versus dry color. So, a zoomed in shot here and there's her bonnet turn around I guess I'm gonna flip the video so okay, right there but I guess okay, like that it probably is washed out a little bit but I'm well, fairly happy with how that uh, bonnet turned out there. So I'm going to call it good, and we'll move on to more details. Uh, maybe we do the pumpkins next, because I don't think I'm going to touch her ears or anything like that. So maybe we do the pumpkins and that cornucopia, and then start working on the little details in here. So there we go. See you in the next one.